guys if they'd like to come and be with you this morning and they saw the hammer and piece of wood and they said, no way. No way. So it's just me today. Um, I have something here and I'm going to give you all a chance to, uh, to do something. I'd like you to take the hammer and just whack the pieces out of that, that piece of wood. Just hit it hard. As hard as you can. There you go. Pass it around. There you go. Smack that. Oh, harder than that. Hit it hard. There. Put a dent in it. Just crash that thing. All right. Go ahead. Everybody, step up and do that. There you go. That's all right. Crack that. There. Oh, got a piece of wood off of it. Yeah, that's all right. Go ahead. Good. Got another one. All right. Now, now you've got some practice. All right, now I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'll give it back to you. And this time, I want you to crack the piece of wood right over my hand. reject that life and receive punishment. I don't want any of you, I don't want any of you to find yourselves in a place of eternal punishment in God's absence. So I invite you today to listen very carefully because the key is to have Jesus Christ in your life. To have him as your Savior, to hold him close as your Lord, and follow all that he teaches, so that you won't have anything like that happen to you, because you'll be with him. Okay. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your grace and your love for each of us. 
We thank you that you have provided a way for us to find relief so that we don't undergo the pain and the struggle of being in your absence. God, touch each of our lives today and help us to claim your son Jesus so powerfully in our lives that we will be with you when this life ends. Thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thanks for joining me this morning.